Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we're going to have some more fun with a slinky today. Um, I tried a pour through a slinky several days ago. It came out pretty awesome. I'll post the link in the description if you haven't seen that. I'm going to actually try a different method today with the slinky. This is an 8x10 canvas. And I'll explain the materials as I go. First of all, I'm using a silicone bowl. It's reusable, super great. You just peel the paint out when it dries. It's from Lowly Vefe. All materials will also be down in the description. All right, so that was Artist Loft White. And then I'm using some metallics. This is Arteza Electric Blue. And then Arteza Bronze. And all colors are mixed with Floetrol and water. Once again, materials will be in the description. So this is a metallic purple from Arteza. And then I also have a metallic white from Arteza. So it's like a pearl color, really pretty. This is um, a forest green, which is actually Artist Loft. And then I have a turquoise blue which is also Arteza Metallic. So I'm just gonna layer these colors just a little bit more. This is gonna be a lighter painting. Uh, definitely, this is kind of um, peacock colors, except no black in this one. So for all of you who don't like black, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. About out of purple, so not getting a, too much purple in here, unfortunately. I used a lot of it yesterday. And that should be about enough. I think let's go in here with a little more of the turquoise. All right. So the last time I did this, I poured straight into the center of the slinky like this. This time, I'm gonna actually pour through the sides. So I'm first gonna put a little bit of white down on the canvas, just to have something to help it flow a little bit. Not a lot, but. Okay. Put my slinky down. And this is a metal slinky, in case anyone cannot tell. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to kind of just pour back and forth, I think, through here. If anything, this will be fun. So we're going to end up with kind of two pools of paint. Okay, good. And then I think I will bring you down for a side view because as I pull up, it's going to come through the sides and it's going to look super cool. Okay, so I'm going to pull up here and you'll see it come out through the sides. Not as much as when I first, when I did the first one, which I poured a whole bunch in there. Also guys, slinkies are long. So it's kind of hard to pull it up all the way, especially since I am short. But doing this way, not so hard. All right. Well, there was quite a bit of paint left in there. That's going to make a really cool skin off to the side here. All right. I will bring you back up for the top view. All right, so far it looks like weird bug eyes. <laughs> Let's see what happens as we stretch it out. Definitely got some interesting patterns on the insides there. All right, not too shabby actually. It's definitely different. Bring it back this way just a little bit. Yeah, definitely different. It's interesting. 
Not entirely sure how I feel about it, but I think I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. We'll see if anything else develops and then we'll come back and do our close up. All right, guys, we're back. Not too much has changed. Let's go ahead and do our close up. So lower right hand corner here, you can see we definitely got some unique patterns in here. Upper right hand corner over to the upper left hand corner and down to the lower left hand corner and back to overall okay guys i really hope you enjoyed this i'm having fun playing with my slinky <laughs> more slinky videos definitely coming up let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you all next time.